In April of 2010, an anime adaptation of Tamaki Wakiki's The World God Only Knows, or Kami no Mizo Shiro Sukai, manga series was revealed. Fans in Japan would be the first ones to get a look at the series. In June, at that year's Just to Die World Hobby Fair, the series' first promotional video was shown. Anyone who couldn't attend the event would be able to view it one month later, on July 7th, when it was uploaded to the series' website. The next big announcement was a bit of a surprise. On October 4th, three days before the series aired in Japan, a sales sheet for vending machine capsules revealed that a second season of the anime was scheduled to air in April of 2011. The next month, on September 15th, Crunchyroll announced that they were partnering with TV Tokyo to bring three new shows to their fall simulcast lineup, Squid Girl, Let Her Be Reverse, and The World God Only Knows. The World God Only Knows aired on TV Tokyo from October 7th to December 23rd, 2010. As expected, the second season aired in the spring of 2011 from April 12th to June 28th. The series' first OVA, Four Girls and an Idol, was released directly to DVD in Japan on September 16, 2011. It was bundled with the special edition release of the manga's 14th volume. A couple of weeks later, at Anime Week in Atlanta, Sentai Filmworks revealed that they had acquired the rights to the world God only knows, but they didn't officially announce the acquisition until October 17, 2011. In their press release, they confirmed that they had the rights to both Season 1 and Season 2. Season 1 would be released on DVD and Blu-ray in January 2012, with Season 2 to follow later in the year. On November 9th, Sentai confirmed that the series would be receiving an English dub with the announcement of the series' English cast. The first season hit store shelves in North America on January 24, 2012. The second season followed several months later and was released on August 7, 2012. Shortly afterwards, the next OVA was released. The first episode of the Tenry arc, Reunion, was bundled with the special edition release of the manga's 19th volume on October 18th. On December 7th, Manga News spotted something interesting. Shugaku Khan's Weekly Shonen Sunday announced that a third season of The World God Only Knows was in the works. It also announced a new spin-off OVA based on Kanan. And just before the end of the year, the final episode of the Tenry arc, Encounter, was released. This OVA was bundled with a special edition release of the manga's 20th volume and hit store shelves on December 18, 2012. News died down until May of 2013, when the 24th issue of Weekly Shonen Sunday confirmed that the third season would adapt the manga's Goddesses arc. It also mentioned that the previously announced Kanan-focused OVA, now titled Magical Star Kanan 100%, would be bundled on DVD with the special edition release of the manga's 22nd volume, but fans who just wanted a copy on Blu-ray could pick it up on August 28th. The next month, at that year's Anime Expo, Crunchyroll announced that it would be adding the World God Only Knows Goddesses to its summer lineup. Shortly afterwards, the third season of the anime aired on TV Tokyo and ran on the network from July 9th to September 24, 2013. After the series finished airing, news dried up for an entire year, until, on November 17, 2014, Sentai Filmworks announced that they had licensed the anime's third season. In their press release, they stated that the World God Only Knows Goddesses will be available soon through select digital outlets with a home video release to follow. The next day, they announced that it would hit store shelves on March 10, 2015. Since I would follow that up by announcing the acquisition of the World God Only Knows OVA collection in January. This upcoming collection would contain all four of the series' OVAs and will be released on Blu-ray and DVD on May 5, 2015. Less than a month later, since I confirmed that the third season would also be receiving a dub with the announcement of the official English cast on February 12th. The World God Only Knows Goddesses was released without any delays on March 10, 2015. It was followed by a smooth release of the OVA collection, which also came with Japanese and English voice acting, a couple of months later on May 5th, and this was the first time that the OVAs were officially available in the West other than the English dub version of Season 3 being added to the anime network in September. There wasn't much news about the series for about a year. Then, in September 2016, Sentai surprised fans with an interesting announcement. In the January 2017 release lineup, the first item listed was the World God Only Knows Ultimate Collection. The set would be available on both Blu-ray and DVD, and feature all three seasons of the anime and all four OVAs. Fans would be able to pick up a copy on January 3rd, 2017. Things would only get better for fans. I couldn't find a specific date, but it looks like the entire series was added to High Dive streaming lineup with both English and Japanese language options at some point in 2017. This included all the OVAs, which had never been available on Crunchyroll. Unfortunately, from here on out, there's no more good news. The Ultimate Collection was the easiest way for fans to pick up the entire series at a decent price, but it's been out of print since at least 2021. When I reached out to Sentai for additional information, they couldn't tell me anything except that the series was no longer available for purchase on the Sentai store, but fans could still watch the entire series on High Dive for a little while. Things took a turn for the worse in early 2022, when the third season and the OVAs were removed from the platform. The rest of the series didn't stick around very long, and it was completely removed by the end of July. The one saving grace is that the series is still available on Crunchyroll, mostly. As mentioned before, Crunchyroll has never streamed the series' OVAs, and you still won't find them there today. Also, Crunchyroll is only streaming the series in Japanese with English subtitles. So, as of December 2023, the world God only knows its English dub, and the entire collection of OVAs can no longer be streamed on official services. 